this is our media presentation on Blogger Boy that we're here to present to you today. The Brief. We have been approached by Netflix to produce programme ideas to implement their into 2015 to 2016 schedules that will appeal to a teenage audience. Netflix is looking for a programme that will meet the client brief of entertainment and engagement to gain sufficient views over the past months. We have developed an idea and planned development of a TV drama to present to you today. Our brief overview. Our television drama is aimed at an audience of teenage girls aged 14 to 18. It is based in high school under the sun genre of mystery and high school life. And the themes are mystery, love slash hope, friendship, pressure of exams slash teenage life and romance. Our mood board here, as you can see, shows a snapshot of stereotypes in school and the influence they have um, from the media. As you can see from the use of our um, blogging and computer screen symbols, this shows how this is going to have a big influence on how our drama plays out and how the characters are affected. And this is basically our um, line for our TV drama, this will be how it would be introduced. So Blogger Boy is a compelling high school drama which unites different social groups under a common goal to discover who is posting their deepest secrets online. Using the setting of real school life, Blogger Boy aims to expose common problems which teenagers experience in everyday life, whilst retaining an engaging and unpredictable storyline, making it relatable and thrilling. A series of twists and turns will see characters coming to terms with themselves as individuals and the truths of belonging in a divided community where everyone has secrets. All is fair in love and war, and with life and reputation resting in the balance, everything is possible. So our characters are Hunter, Claire and Kaylee. Um, Hunter is a blogger, he blogs online because in the past he was bullied so he wants to like, he wants to get revenge on the people who bullied him by like posting their secrets and yeah. And this is his mood board so he's very like into technology, he's quite clever, he has good grades and yeah. So he's basically the big secret. Yeah. Through the um, Claire is like an average schoolgirl. She has like average grades and she's just like considered normal, if you like. Um, yeah. So she's like concentrates at school, but then she's like she has a big personality outside of school. So she's like a bit of both. And Kaylee is like the popular girl, so like she like she doesn't really concentrate, she likes to mess around. She's like a loud, bubbly personality. She like make she likes makeup and she's like a very like girly girl kind of person. And, yeah. and Jace is like a sporty kind of like guy. Um, he's like very like flirty with the girls and he's in a relationship with Kaylee and they're like the high school like couple. Our storyline focuses on an investigation set up by the students to discover who is blogging their secrets online. So it starts off with our characters, um, Jace and Kaylee, who are considered kind of the queen and king couple of the school, and they are broken apart by the secret blogger who exposes their secrets within the first um, series. So we find out that Kaylee has been cheating on Jace, and this is kind of the start of Jace's storyline, because while he's like a typical jock, and he has all of the features of a popular um, teenage boy, he's also quite insecure and we get to see this as the series evolves from him being kind of at the top of the school and the most popular to kind of collapsing under the weight of having his secrets exposed and his girl who he thought meant everything to him cheating on him. And we also in our storyline is Claire and Hunter who they're kind of seen as the underdog so they're not as popular but um, they become friends and they start the blogging overall together. And this is kind of the romance storyline, so we're going to see um, Claire and Hunter come together and find out more about each other, and they kind of um, form a relationship towards the end of our TV drama. And kind of our storyline explores how the two um, social groups connect, so like the populars and the unpopulars coming together, and that's kind of going to cause conflict. So as Jace um, becomes less popular after Kaylee um, cheats on him, he's going to become friends with Claire and Hunter and he's going to cause tension as the series kind of evolves.
And we think our storyline will be effective because it has relatable features. For example, our character, um, Claire, we've based on a typical schoolgirl, so we think everyone will be able to relate to that. And it will create um, tension within it because people will be able to find like themes connecting to themselves to the drama. And also our television drama is similar to Waterloo Road. And this attracted a large teenage audience upon its new series implemented into the television schedules with an average 5 million people tuning in each week. It's also quite similar to Gossip Girl, we've taken some inspiration from there. And Gossip Girl was nominated for numerous awards and won 18 Teen Choice Awards, as well as being renewed for six seasons, making it one of the most po popular teen dramas of all times. And this is a key point because it won Teen Choice Awards and our audience is obviously teenagers. And our television drama shows a message of teenage life and the effect the media can have on our generation. And this is important because all media kind of shows a message to people and this is what ours is going to give. And it focuses largely on the fish out of water storyline. And our research has proven that our audience enjoy seeing characters' reactions when put in difficult situations. Um, we did a questionnaire to get feedback on the ideas of our target audience would like developed into their ideas. With an amalgamation of ideas, we were able to decide that people like a high level of relatability, which we aim to translate into our drama. And that link doesn't really work. Yeah, this was when we were meant to show um, you the blog that we have set up. We'd be able to show you if you were interested, but obviously we have all of our members missing. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay, right. Um, this is our settings, and one of the main settings for our TV drama will be the ICT suite in school, because obviously it's readily available and it will act as a key meeting point for characters. This is an extract from our script opening. In, yeah, at the beginning. We'll just give you a bit of time to read that now if you want to. So this will kind of be how we would build tension within the first um, few minutes of the episode. Because the character is unknown, so it leaves you questioning who it is. Um, we would give our programme a PG-13 rating, as it doesn't breach any of the Ofcom regulations and the only required field of consideration would be to use a strong language. Strong language may be occasionally present, as so not to breach 1.15 of Ofcom regulations, starting that offensive language may not be used for younger children. We would air the our drama with a PG rating. The topics explored in our drama are aimed at a teenage audience, so therefore would be suited to this restriction. To conclude, we believe that our drama will be effective for the audience of teenagers we are catering for because of its relatable nature and interesting storyline. Blogger Boy contains problems that exist in everyday life of teenagers today. Since television dramas are an important part of in influencing the teenage audience, we believe that the issues explored in Blogger Boy will be translated into feelings of understanding and attention paid towards less covered is issues in the media. We believe there are no problems, no programmes like Blogger Boy on the viewing market currently, with Waterloo Road being the closest in genre, however containing varying themes without the main storyline of mystery. Blogger Boy could be a key attribute to the Netflix ca catalogue. Thank you for listening. <laughs>